In this video we're going to take a look at uh, the way we can generate an XML output file. Um, we're going to rely on our trusty three input files here, customers, orders and order details. Uh, I don't really need to talk about those. Um, what we will do is quickly look at their metadata for reasons we'll see in a moment. So let's just note that the uh, in the customers metadata the customer ID, that's the key field, uh, and in order details and in orders in both cases, the order ID is the key field. And there's the order ID record. Right, so um, all we do is we bring in the XML writer component from over here. Uh, and we should, we'll find that down at the bottom somewhere, I think. There it is. So you drag that in, and then we can connect edges to the input ports. And we can connect as many as you want. And uh, what's interesting here is that this is effectively a nested structure. So we've got a customer, and a customer may have one or more orders. And for each order, there may be one or more order details or line items, if you like. So somehow we've got to get that to produce uh, a nested XML file. And that's what the XML writer does. So let's take a look at that. We're going to double click to bring up the properties. And in fact, this is um, this is remarkably simple. We uh, we only need to specify the file URL as the one parameter uh, or property and the mapping as the other. Um, there are all sorts of ways you can create multiple XML output files automatically splitting them up into multiple files and so on. Uh, I won't go into that now but if you refer to the uh, in the quick start guide you'll see a link into the wiki which has got some good descriptions of these properties. Um, for more advanced use you might look at uh, DTD and XSD schema stuff. Uh, we're going to keep this simple. So we've done the file URL. Now we're going to map, uh, define this mapping. Um, and uh, this mapping is really very simple. You can see here that uh, the first one um, defines the name of the element, which is customer, which input port to expect the customer data on. That's the first one, port zero. And what is the key field? that identifies the customer in the uh, the incoming metadata. That's the customer ID. Now we're nesting uh, an element um, which is orders. First input port, order ID is its key field. And now you'll notice, this is interesting, that what is the key to its parent? Well, it's the customer ID field in the incoming orders data links it to its parent and it knows that its parent is the next one up which is this one here. Uh, within orders we have order details that's on the second input port and the key to its parent is order ID inside order order details linked it links it to orders. Um, so this is a fully nested structure you can obviously have uh, they don't have to always be nested in which case you terminate on the same line rather like this one. Um, so let's now run this. So we've got um, debug on. Not that we really need that for this example. So let's just run it and see what happens. OK, and um, we can see here everything looks to have run normally. Graph successfully executed. Let's go now to our data out folder and see what's there. And there you can see cust orders XML. There are two ways we can look at this file. We can double click on it and that's going to open up here um, the XML itself and there you can see it all nicely laid out. Our first customer, Alfred's footer kister. How many orders? There's the first order and its order details. Here's the next order and its order details following. Uh, where is it? There, here's the next order. So um, that's all pretty nice. You can also get um, Let's have a look here. We can say open with XML editor. And now we see we've got it nicely passed into a tree view. So there's our root. And here are all the customer records. Let's open up one of those. Here's a customer. And um, we can keep going. Here's a customer. It looks like that one didn't have any. Oh, here we are. Here are his orders and order details.